Hey everyone, this is John. Today we have a beautiful Italian bike with us today. This is a 2019 RSV4. We're going to be installing some premium products to match the look and performance of this bike. Specifically frame sliders and axle sliders, front and rear. These products do fit RSV4 2009 and up. Now submodels are scattered to check fitment. Go on over to our website where you'll find all the bikes that are covered. Pretty simple installation. One fairing has to be removed on each side. So let's get to it. Let's begin by installing the frame sliders on this RSV4. Now, here I have the main adapter where our pucks will sit on. This adapter is a triangular dual bolt mount. Mounts directly on the frame of the bike. Beautiful triangular shape with specific cutouts to reduce weight as much as possible while maintaining the structural integrity of the product. Beautiful little adapter here. And it's not complicated at all to install this. Aprilia has made it fairly easy to remove this panel here, which we need to do in order to access one of the engine bolts here. We'll begin by removing three of the pins right underneath the front here, right above the front tire. We'll change the angle and show you where they are. We're here in front of the bike. On the underside, right next to the radiator, we'll be removing three pins, beginning with this lower one here. I'm grabbing my pin remover tool and I'm wedging this right between the middle portion rim and the outer rim of the pin. So go ahead and wedge this inside. And just push, push that middle section out. Pull that out just like that. Move it slightly upward. We'll be removing the second one. Wedge my tool in the middle portion. Push it out. Disengage it. Comes out easy as that. Slightly upward. There's the last pin in the front. Middle portion out. Push it outward. And we'll move back to the side of the bike. Once we've gone ahead and moved those pins, we can move on to the side and remove four bolts, beginning with the top front here. I'll grab a four mil Allen key, remove these. Now, these bolts do come with a plastic washer. Be sure to not misplace these. I'll just push the, put these to the side. We'll be using all of the bolts and all of the pins again. Second bolt that we'll be removing is towards the middle here, at the top. Third bolt in the middle. Fourth and last bolt will be right here, in this section right here. We'll be removing a push pin that's in this location right here. This push pin is exactly the same as the ones we removed in the front. This pin is holding on to these two pieces of fairing. Here it is. Okay, all bolts and pins have been removed. We can begin separating this fairing with the bike and the rest of the fairings. Push this off the bike frame. Push these, separate these right here. Now I'll begin putting my hand in the front here and pushing it out while I work my other hand and push the top outward as well. And you'll notice that these pins at the top will start disengaging to remove this top part.
the top has disengaged. Now we'll work at the bottom. This fairing at the bottom has two pins that's holding on to this portion that we're removing. For easy removal, we'll bend this downward and you'll feel as the pins begin to disengage. There's one pin and there's two pins. Now I'm just pushing this piece upward and now we have removed that fairing. This is the only piece that we have to remove. Put that off to the side. And now we can begin installing the frame slider, removing these two engine bolts right here. I'm using a 13 mil socket. I'll go ahead and use my torque wrench to make it easier to remove these bolts. One thing I would like to point out is that this is the factory edition RSV4 and this specific model does come with rectangular spacers. comes with a rectangular spacer right after the bolt head and washer and there is a circular spacer right between the frame and the engine make sure not to misplace these all the spacers will be used for our frame sliders once again rectangular spacer circular spacer and this is the bolt with the washer. We'll set this aside for now. Now we're gonna grab the Alpha Test triangular adapter here. We'll Pre-assemble the adapter, the appropriate bolts. Make sure to verify what, bolt, what bolts go where from your installation manual. If for any reason you've misplaced this installation manual, you can go ahead and download it directly on our website. You can grab my blue thread locker and place one drop of thread locker right at the end of each bolt. Remember to place the circular adapter between the frame and the engine. I've gone ahead and aligned the circular adapter between the frame and the engine and placed the rectangular adapter properly on both sides and made sure that the bolts thread in nicely without any resistance. We do not want to damage the threading inside of the engine. Now one thing to note, some RSV4 models do not come with the rectangular adapters. For those specific models, we do provide spacers that go between the frame slider adapter and the frame of the bike. Be sure to place these when installing this adapter here. I'll go ahead and place these to the side. I'll grab my 8 mil hex socket and continue threading these engine bolts. I'm grabbing my torque wrench here. Setting this to 30 foot-pounds. All right. Now let's go ahead and grab the actual puck and puck adapter. We've gone ahead and pre-assembled this. Now I will mention that both sides triangular adapters and both side puck and puck adapter are exactly the same. They're interchangeable, so don't worry about mixing those up. Now pre-assembling this, we have the bolt, we have a washer, and some kits may come with a spacer right after the washer. If your kit comes with it, 
be sure to install this. Go ahead and insert it so that the bolts and washer and spacer sit firmly inside of the puck here. Grab my blue thread locker, place one drop at the end there. Grab my eight mil hex sock in here again. Making sure that Alphabet Test logo is sticking up. Grab my torque wrench and set it at 41 foot pounds. All right, once that's fully tightened, and set this tool aside. We can grab our fairing and continue to install the fairing once again. We'll begin by inserting these two clips right here, these two pins at the bottom with the barn and fairing, and insert it into the piece that we're installing. We're gonna come at an angle, make sure those pins go inside. As I'm doing this, I'm pushing the bottom fairing outward a little bit, just to give me a little bit more space between the radiator and this bottom piece. I'm just verifying with the bottom line here, making sure that they're actually inserted all the way. Make sure everything aligns nicely in the bottom portion. Now we can begin inserting the pins at the top. So I'll make sure that this, this one goes right underneath the top portion of the fairing. And there's a clip right here, clip towards the front, and one final clip at the front here, which will insert towards the front. We've got the back one in. we got this front one in. And now everything is aligned. And I'll continue in putting my four bolts and four pins. Make sure when placing all the bolts, again, there's a pl plastic washer on all of the bolts. One thing to note also, that we're working on one side of the frame slider of the bike at a time. We do not want to remove both sides engine bolts at the same time. This might cause the engine to sag and it'll create some problems. I've gone ahead and placed my four bolts. Now I'll be replacing the pins. First pin will be right here, holding these two pieces of fairing together. Again, we'll begin by inserting the pin with the middle portion disengaged, just like that. Good. We got this pin, now we can replace the three pins towards the front. All right, that completes the installation for our frame sliders. Just gonna go ahead and clean my work area. And that's that. Installation process for the left side is exactly the same. Keep in mind, don't lose any of the spacers that come with your bike or washers right on the bolts. After we finish installing frame sliders, we can move on to the next part of the video, which we'll be installing front and rear axle sliders.
One thing to note when installing the left side frame sliders, you'll be installing this side with smaller bolts that you'll find on your kit. Verify that on your installation manual. The reason for this is the left side does not have the round spacers between the frame and the engine. Other than that, installation is exactly the same. Just follow along and you should be good to go. Make sure to join us on part two of this series. We'll be covering front and rear axle installation process. Like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.